Hi guys, welcome to today's video on how to navigate your way around your direct admin, which is the back end of your web hosting account. So in this video, we'll be covering these following topics. One, how to change your password through your direct admin web hosting account. So because that is the first thing you might want to do after you must have gotten your web hosting account from your service providers, okay? So number two is how to upload files to your web hosting account through your direct admin. So let's say you have written your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript for your website, and you want to upload the files to server through your web hosting account. But that is a proper and easy way to upload files through your web hosting account to your server, which I have done a video tutorial on how to do that with file transfer protocol called FileZilla. I will leave the link to the video on how to do that in the description below, okay? So moving ahead, the third thing I'm going to show you in this video today is how to enable SSL certificates for your website through your direct admin. So but in case you don't know what is SSL certificates, so first let's open a new tab and go to google.com. So now here on Google site, you can see here that the site is in the browser. You can see the key icon. So that key icon means that your site is secured. So if you click on it now, you will see that it says connection is secure. So once your site have this, that means your connection is secure. So these days, Google and other search engine machines prefer to index or rank a site that has SSL certificates, okay? So that is why it is important that you add SSL certificates to your site, okay? So I will show you how to enable the free one in this video, okay? So the fourth thing I'm going to show you today in this video is how to create a database through your direct admin. So maybe you want the information from your website to be stored in a database. So I'm going to show you that through your direct admin and we are going to use a MySQL database to do this, okay? So the fifth thing you are going to go home with after watching this video today is how to create a custom email address for your website. So you probably must have come across one or two such email addresses where you see info at example.com or info or query or whatever at example or at your site or at your name.com, whichever thing you use as your site.com. So in my case, I'm using this my website. So the custom email address I'm talking about. So like if I'm going to create it here for my sabiman.com, I might come up with something like info at sabiman.com and you can be able to do that through your direct admin or through your cPanel, which is also the same thing with your direct admin. So we are going to do that in this video, okay? So the last on the list of the thing we are going to learn in this video today is how to install WordPress through your direct admin. So let's say you want to create your website, your blog or anything or any type of website and you want to use WordPress to do that, I'm going to show you in this video how to install WordPress through your direct admin, okay? So with all that being said, and without wasting much of your time, I say, let's jump straight into this tutorial, okay? So let's go. So now, this is the interface, the login interface of your direct admin. All you need to do is to go ahead and fill in your username and password, the one you got from your service provider, okay? So after that is done, click on sign in. So you'll be brought to your direct admin dashboard, which is here. So this is how the interface looks. So now you're here. The first thing we are going to do is how to change your password because that is the first thing you might want to do after you must have gotten your web hosting account from your service providers, okay? So to do that, come here at the left panel. You will see this icon. You see it's password. That is the third one here. So click on it then you'll be brought to this place. So first, you need to fill in the password you got from your service providers. So you fill it in in the first input. So in the second input, you come up with the new password you want to use as your new password. So after that is done, so you will see these three checkbox under here. So these three checkbox, make sure you check three of them. And what it means is that this password you are creating now, that you will use it to log in to your direct admin account, which is this one now. And you also use it to log in to your FTP account, which is what I explained to you before that. You can use an FTP to upload files to your server through your web hosting account. 
And that is one of the perfect and easy way to upload files to your server, especially when it is a large file. So the third one is main database account. You can also use the account to log into your main database account. So now after you must have come up with your new password and everything, you just click on submit. Then your password will be changed. So make sure you keep the password safe so you don't forget or mix the old and the new one up and get confused on which one to use. Okay. So now this one is done. The second thing online here is how to upload files. Like I explained before, like you have written your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript, and you want to upload it to your server through your web hosting account, which is your direct admin or your cPanel. So all you need to do is, first, let's go back to dashboard because you understand it properly from the dashboard. So, so now we are here on the dashboard. So hover your mouse over the menu icon here. So then navigate down to system info and files. Then click to expand it. So click on file manager. So now you have to double click on this public HTML. So as you can see, you are here in your public HTML. So these are the files I uploaded and these ones are the files that comes from WordPress. So for example, you want to upload a file when that you want to upload your HTML, CSS and JavaScript to your server. Like I said before, make sure you double click on public HTML first. You come here and click on this plus icon. So here you can either drag and drop the files here or you click on this box to upload it directly from your computer. So you, now you can open any folder you save the files. So for the sake of this tutorial, I save some of the files here in this HTML web tutorial folder. So I'm going to double click to open it. So now I will go ahead and select these four files to upload to my server. So I'll click on the first one. So on my computer, I press on shift and click on the last one. Then the four will be selected. Now I'll click on open. So now your files has been uploaded to your server. As you can see, it has been done. So if you go here to check it, you can see it here. So now we are done with uploading files. So this is how you can upload files to your server through your web hosting account, your direct admin or your cPanel, okay? So now let's go back to our dashboard. So the next thing I'm going to show you now is how to enable the SSSL certificate I've just explained to you, which is the security of your website, which means that your site is secured and trusted for human and also for machine, okay? So to do that, here on the menu icon also, hover your mouse on the menu icon, then click on account manager to expand it. Then navigate to SSL certificate and click. You will see these options. They are all a way to upload an SSL certificate to your server. You can buy an SSL certificate from companies that provide that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the free one here through your direct admin, okay? So once you are here, you see this get automatic certificate from Acme provider. So you just click on it to check it. So you come down here, make sure it is on less encrypt. And your common name will be the name of your website here. Then leave other things the way they set them. Then you come down and you make sure you check this box that says first SSL with HTTPS redirect, okay? So once you check it and make sure everything is done, you, then you hit on save. Then that is done. An SSL certificate will be enabled on your site, which proves that your site can be trusted by both human and machine. So now that we have finished this one, so the next thing is how to create a database through your direct admin or through your cPanel. So now we are here on the dashboard. All you need to do is as usual, hover your mouse over the menu icon. Then click on account manager. Then come down and click on my SQL management. So look by the right corner here under actions. Click on create new database. So I will just fill in the name of my database in the first input. So it has already come with Sabiman underscore. So after you must have come up with your database name and your database user and your password, which in my case, I have given my own database name, database underscore name, which in full we read as Sabiman underscore database underscore name. And the database user is Sabiman underscore database underscore user. So I come up with my password. So after everything is done perfectly in your own case, 
then you click on create database so you can see your database has been created the host is localhost the username is subhuman underscore database underscore user and this is my password so now make sure you copy them and paste them somewhere so because that is what you will use to have access to your database okay so now i'm going to show you how to access your database so now from dashboard here you navigate your mouse also over to the menu icon then come down and click on extra features then click on php my admin so you'll be presented with this login page just go ahead and fill in your database username then fill in your password and hit on sign in then you'll be brought to the back end of your database so if you look by the left panel here you can see the name of the database we created subhuman underscore database underscore name if you click on it you see that it is still empty so all you need to do here is to create new tables for your database so i will leave the link of the video on how to create a table in your database so make sure you go to the description below and watch the video on how to do that so that you get acquainted with that okay so moving ahead so now from your database if you're done with here you want to log out you can just go directly and hover your mouse over here the second icon then click it will be logged out so the next thing online in this tutorial is how to create a custom email address for your website like i explained before that custom email address is those email addresses you see as info at your site.com or info at example.com or info at whatever the name of your website.com is okay so those are custom email addresses which i know that you probably must have come across one way or the other so now to do that let's go back to our dashboard so from the dashboard here hover your mouse over the menu icon also then now click on email accounts so by the right panel here you see it under actions click on create account so now you will come up with your email username so now in this tutorial for the sake of this tutorial so i'm going to say for example get info okay so get info you don't need to put at savuman.com so you only fill in the first letter that will be associated with at your site.com or at whatever.com then you come up with your password so down here at the email quota section so you can leave it as zero so that it will be unlimited so here at done you can leave it also at zero or you leave it empty so that you can be able to send or receive unlimited emails okay so after everything is done perfectly click on create account so before you click on create account remember that the username this gets info or whatever thing you add here as your username is what you are going to use to log in to that email address it will be the username of the email address and it will also be the email address that you can give away to your clients or to your customers to be able to send you mail with that so after everything is done perfectly just click on create account so you can see it here your email account has been created successfully so if you want to access that email let me show you how to do that you can either go directly to any browser of your choice like i'm going to now then you say for example in my own case sabiman.com forward slash web mail hit enter so this is going to be the login interface of your email address okay so you go ahead and fill in your login details so i will say get info at sabiman.com so you understand now then fill in your password and hit on login so this is it this is the email address you have just created so if you want to write new mail you go ahead and click on compose so if you want to log out you come down here and click on log out so hover your mouse over the menu here and come down to extra features then click on webmail runs cube then you can see the login interface of your email address you can fill in your username and fill in your password then hit on login like we did before so you can see this is your inbox you can click on logout to log out so the final thing to show you how to do in this video is how to install wordpress to your server through your direct admin so now we are here on the dashboard if you want to install wordpress then you just have to hover once again to the menu icon 
then navigate down and click on Softaculous Apps Installer to expand it. So there you will see WordPress. So to install WordPress, just click on it. So from here, you begin the installation of WordPress by clicking on install. Then fill in the name of your site, the description of your site, your WordPress admin dashboard username, your WordPress admin dashboard password, your email address, then come down, choose a team. But there is a proper way to do this in choosing team through the WordPress dashboard. So after all set is done, you click on install and WordPress will be installed to your web hosting account through your direct admin, okay? So this brings us to the end of this video today on how to navigate your way around your direct admin, which is the back end of your web hosting account, okay? So if you find this video interesting, please consider to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this, okay? So with that being said, I say thank you for watching and see you guys in the next videos.